Welcome to another Clada Art Class. So today we're going to take a look at this painting here. This painting is called Heavy Red. I wonder why. Are you right? There's a lot of red. It was painted in 1924. Very long time ago. Almost 100 years ago. It was painted by a man from Russia. His name is very funny. But he wasn't. He was quite serious. His name is Wallisili, Wassily, Wassily, Wassily Kandinsky. Some of you who are good, who, who attend the Cladis School already know this painting. You've seen it a couple of times because we've used it for different art classes. So what can you see? Yeah, maybe bubbles, maybe planets. Maybe fireworks, yeah, you're right. Yeah, could be a cityscape with fireworks. Or it could just be circles, rectangles, squares, triangles. Might just be that. We don't really know. We don't have an explanation from the artist as to what it is. Wallace C. Kandinsky was known as the pioneer of abstract art. And abstract art is when artists use just shapes to express a feeling or express a, an idea. So we don't know what Wallace C. Kandinsky was expressing here. And very often when an artist doesn't tell us what they're expressing, They'd like us to feel or decide what we feel when we see the painting. So I feel happy. I think it's quite a happy painting. How do you feel? Yeah. Cool. Today we're going to use this painting as a starting point for another collage. Now, as it happens, there's a combination going on in this week's class where we've got a little bit of representation going on in the actual finished collage that I'm going to do, but yours doesn't have to. I'm working with some children whose theme is camping this week, so we're working with the shapes that you see at camping, which would be, what do you think? Yeah, lots of triangles. Lots of triangles, a couple of circles. Maybe a square or rectangle thrown in there. So we're going to look at just cutting out those shapes in coloured paper. Again, as before, the coloured paper can be magazine pages, advertising pages, you know, that junk mail stuff, bits of newspaper. Or indeed, if you have coloured paper at home, that's great. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make a collage with some coloured shapes. So here we go. So scrappy bits of paper, bits of brochures, draw out shapes, circle, triangle, rectangle, square, use magazine pages. Now, depending on what age you are, you might cut out these shapes without drawing them. You might prefer to rip them like that. You might prefer to draw them and then cut them out. If you're very young, you might prefer to get mum or dad or big brother or sister to draw the shapes for you and then you cut them out. A couple of rectangles. And the idea would be that you'd um, fold the paper one or two times so that, like we've done before, so that when you draw a shape um, and you cut it out, you get a few of them at a time. So the idea is that we'll start this with lots of shapes ready to go. And this is a little guy. And the idea in the collage that I'm making is that I'm going to make a, a kind of a scene from camping, a camping scene. And I'm going to put a little guy, oh yeah, just to show you how to use the scissors, make sure you use your first finger first and your thumb. When you're using a scissors, you always use your thumb and your first finger, and if there's room, add finger two and three, 
or maybe just add finger number two, but always with the first finger. Um, I'm adding a little guy to put into my tent in the picture. The reason I'm showing you this video is because, and some of you in the senior classes who are doing some fine motor practice will have seen this video this week too. It's really about trying to get you to really cut. So at this stage, most of you who've been doing lots of the cloud art classes during the lockdown, um, you have done lots of cutting. And the challenge is to cut things that are very intricate and detailed. And when you make a collage, it can be really nice to have some rough, loose shapes, like the earlier ones that we cut, you know, like the rectangle, the triangle, the square. And, the, you know, we're not too worried about how precise those shapes are drawn. But then finding other things in, in magazines or newspapers and cutting them out in great detail is a lovely contrast. Um, now, this picture that I'm cutting out is a little boy and a dog that I found in a magazine. And you see what I'm doing is I'm moving the page, not the scissors. So when you want to, to draw, yeah, see the way it's cutting, 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 moving the page around all the time. So that's just to give you an idea, just a little, to add another little bit to your collage. Um, in Kandinsky's case, it's all just the basic shapes and they build on top of each other to kind of build something, to build a building or um, fireworks or whatever it is that you think you'd like to do. But if you would like to, it's nice to add a more detailed object into your collage as well. Okay. Don't need to show you all of that, but I will bring you to the end where you see how detailed the guy is at the end and how different it looks when you cut him in detail. My video is moving very slowly. Sorry. It's tiny cuts. Look. And now he's ready. And look how effective that is. That's what I'm asking you to consider. So now that you have got your shapes cut out, um, it's time to start putting them together. Now, as all of you know who attend CAD art classes in school, I don't usually actually show you how to make anything. The reason I'm kind of showing you this is just to give you an idea as to how the shapes might fit together um, if you are trying to make a picture representational, as we would say in the art world. Representational means it's a picture that's really obvious what it's a picture of. Abstract is when you're making a picture that's not obvious what you're making a picture of. So in this one, this is how you put the shapes together to make a representational picture. So you've gathered loads of triangles and squares and rectangles and circles and you've cut them out and you're not worried about how neat and tidy they're cut out, by the way. And you're not worried about how neat and tidy you drew them before you cut them out. And this is just that little bit there that you saw where we cut out a very, very intricate little detail. And that's a really nice contrast to have in an image like this, in a collage like this. Um, so, sorry, get back to the other point. So I've just put my little guy and my little dog in my tent because I'm making a scene of, of um, people camping. Um, most of you will have a good idea how to take the shapes and build a representational picture. Some of you who, who might be less experienced in the, in the art room might not, and that's okay. We're just showing you ways to put the shapes together to make a representational picture. But please know that it's totally okay to do an abstract picture in response to Kandinsky's abstract heavy red. I looked at my son there and it was too big, so now I'm making it smaller. I'm not going to bore you by having to look at all of this as it's going. I'm just going to move it forward there a little bit. And you see I'm starting to use rectangles for the sky. And the setting sun is a circle. We'll go forward another bit. And this bit would be good to see, actually. You can see there, when I put down the tent first, just put a little bit of glue in the center if you, so that you can build a background behind it. Or do as we would do in the, in the art room and make the background first. I think I got a bit excited with myself there and just went and did my representation first, my foreground first.
So the um, I'm cutting out different colors here to mix the colors. So just like you do with paint, the sunset is orange and purpley kind of colors, and we're mixing them together. Um, and you can mix them together in the very same way you'd mix them together with paint. You just layer them inside each other. Okay, and we'll move on another little bit. And we just ignore Molly in the background. Nothing to see there. Again, just gluing and sticking, building up the sky. Got some corner bits in the end. Just fill it in with bits of extra paper. nothing much to see there there's the sky and the tent is finished And now we're starting to build, use the squares now to build the ground. So I was using rectangles to build the sky and the sunset with a circle sun. And now I'm using squares to build the grassy ground around the tent. You can see that beginning to build up here. I'm still building up. There you go, building up the grassy area around the tent. And the idea then is that you keep going. Keep going building your triangles, using squares, triangles, rectangles and circles, and build a picture. And I'd love to see your pictures, so please... WhatsApp them to me if you've got my number. Some of you do. If you don't, uh, you can email them to me at michelle.smith at cladins.com. Love to see them. And if you like or if you forget my email address, most of you have your teacher's email address. So you just email them to, the, to them and ask them to send them to me. Thanks a million, guys. Nice to see you. See you next time.